So the Minecraft 1.17 update was revealed and it's known as the Caves and Cliffs update. So the cave themed update has added loads of new features such as new mobs, new cave biomes, new ores and much much more and I'm going to be talking about them all in this video. So like this video and subscribe if you want to see more Minecraft 1.17 videos. Anyways here we go. The first cave biome that will be added in the 1.17 update is the Lush Cave. Take a look. <laughs> So there it is, we got our first look at the Lush Cave and it looks absolutely amazing. First of all, the Lush Cave contains these new vines containing glow berries which you can collect to either eat or use as a light source. Very cool. In Lush Caves you can also find these new types of flower which are called spore blossoms and they are attached to the ceiling and emit these cool looking particles. Lush Caves can be found whenever a player finds this new type of tree which is known as the Azalea Tree and it looks like this. And it it pretty much serves as a landmark for the biome, so if you go underneath the tree, you'll find a lush cave. The next cave biome that's going to be added in the Caves and Cliffs update is a biome called the Dripstone Cave. Take a look. Yes, so we have the Dripstone Caves biome. And whenever I think about the idea of a cave update, the, the image of stalagmites and stalactites comes into my head. Um, but adding these are pretty difficult you know it's a very unique shape that minecraft isn't really accustomed to but i think the way that the artist uh, put it into minecraft works quite well and of course there's some ma mechanics surrounding this so you can see that uh, someone destroyed the block up the top and so the dripstone fell down and also unfortunately for this zombie here if you fall on these dripstones you will get hurt <laughs> poor zombie Wow, these look incredible. So as you can see, the dripstone caves are very spiky as they contain these new types of blocks known as stalactites and stalagmites. So stalactites are spiky blocks that hang from the ceilings of dripstone caves and if a block is broken above them then they will fall to the ground. Stalagmites on the other hand will generate on the floor of dripstone caves and you have to be careful as you will take damage if you fall on these, just like this poor zombie over here. Rest in peace. In the Minecraft 1.17 update, the cave generation itself is being completely overhauled. So as you can see from the gameplay on screen, the new and improved cave generation looks absolutely fantastic. Caves now feel much more open and intimidating to the player as they contain these massive caverns now and they've got giant pillars and big waterfalls. It's just, it just looks so good. Some parts of the cave generation are going to contain a lot lot of water so it will require the player to travel around on a boat which makes exploration a lot more unique and different. Caves are also so massive now that players can travel around using their elytra wings which is so cool. Next up in the 1.17 update we have the addition of our first new mob which is known as the warden. Take a look. <laughs> Wow, these guys are scary, man. So the Warden is very unique as they will only attack the player when they sense movement. This means that the Warden can't physically see you, but if they hear you moving around the cave, then they're going to attack you. The Warden will also follow sources of noise, such as throwing snowballs at blocks, so you can use that as a distraction to sort of sneak around them, I guess. The Warden is extremely dangerous as they have a lot of health and they deal a lot Lot of damage to the player. This Minecraft dev was wearing netherite armor and the warden killed him no problem at all. The next mob that is going to be added in Minecraft 1.17 is the Axolotl. Take a look. <laughs> The 
They are so cute, man. I bet a lot of players are happy about this one. So the axolotl is an aquatic creature that can be found in bodies of water within the lush cave biome I mentioned earlier. As you can see, the axolotl can be caught by the player in a bucket just like fish can. And the final thing is that the axolotl can come in a few different colours. In Minecraft 1.17, it has been revealed that mountain biomes are going to be completely revamped and have all new generation and they look like this. Now, I have to say, they look simply breathtaking. They look so much better than the current mountains we have in Minecraft today. They're going to be a lot more fun to explore, I reckon. And the reason mountains are going to be more fun to explore is because they're adding another new mob which spawns in mountains, which are goats, and they look like this. Now, as I said, goats spawn in mountain biomes and they can jump very high into the air to avoid obstacles, so they're quite smart. Goats can also attack animals and the player, so be very careful if you're standing on a mountain top because they might knock you off like they did to this cow right here. In the cave update, it goes without saying that you're going to want to find new things to explore within said cave, and the first thing that you can find is a new block known as the Amethyst Geode, which is a crystal-like block that looks like this. Now, as you heard, the Amethyst Geo makes bell-like sounds, which sound really sparkly and kind of cool, to be honest. And this block is very rare, so it's going to be hard to come across it. But when you find it, it will be so rewarding. The 1.17 Cave and Cliffs update is adding a new ore into Minecraft, which is known as Copper Ore, and it looks like this. Now, copper ore can be found in all cave biomes, and it can also be used to craft things such as copper stairs and copper slabs. Now, all copper-related blocks are very unique, because just like real copper, the block over a certain amount of Minecraft days will turn green, and it will look like this, which is really, really cool. Okay, so the crystal shards I mentioned earlier can actually be combined with copper ore to craft a new item known as the telescope. We're getting telescopes in Minecraft. I can't believe it. So yeah, telescopes look like this and they pretty much do what telescopes do in real life. You can look into them and see things up close from far away, which is very cool. Another block you can craft with copper is the lightning rod, which looks like this. And the block is designed to put on the roof of your house to basically protect your house from catching fire from lightning. So it's going to be very useful. Another new mob is going to be added in 1.17 but this mob was part of a mob vote between two other mobs, so which mob won the vote? So the three mobs that were in competition with each other was the Moo Bloom, which looks like this, the Iceologer, which looks like this, and finally the Glow Squid, which looks like this. So the Moo Bloom was the first mob to be voted out, so that is not going to be added into Minecraft. It then came down to the Iceologer or the Glow Squid, so which mob won? <laughs> It's the glow squid! <laughs> wow. Well, it was the glow squid. Sorry, Isologer. In the Minecraft 1.17 update, Mojang have acknowledged that they've added so many items into the game that it's hard to manage them all in the inventory. So they've added a new item known as the bundle, which looks like this. The bundle is basically an item that is used as a mini backpack in the inventory as you can store up to 64 items in a single bundle, which is very cool. It's going to be really good for inventory management. When you hover over the bundle, it shows the items that are contained within the bundle, so it's going to be very easy to manage all of your items. But anyways, guys, that just about concludes this video about some of the features we are going to see in the Minecraft 1.17 Caves and Cliffs update. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If there were any features I missed in this video, be sure to let me know in the comment section below, as I will make a follow-up video on this update, because there is so much to cover, so sorry if I missed some stuff. Anyways, guys, as as always, be sure to leave this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more 1.17 videos.